What's going on everybody? Come back. The boy has made up his mind and decided which EDC gun he was going to carry. What's going on everybody? It's Patrick Minton Outdoors. How is my outdoor crew doing? Hope you're doing well. Everything's good here. So, I told you I'd make this video when he made up his mind and decided which firearm he wanted to purchase for his everyday carry. And that person I'm referring to is Chase. He is 21. He does have his uh, carry license. But he couldn't find that, that uh, was having trouble finding the gun he wanted. And trust me, he has shot a bunch. He has handled a bunch of guns. And he finally narrowed it down to one. Now, I had no persuasion in this whatsoever. I can tell you it's between the Glock 43, Smith & Wesson M&P 9 shield, and the SIG 365. And he calls me and says, Dad, I found it. They've got it. I've made up my mind. Do I get it now? Do I wait? Do I try to find it closer to home? Because he was out of town when he found it. I said, if the price is right, and for lack of better terms, pull the trigger, get that bad boy. So he did. Uh, he did. He purchased it and brought it home. And so now I guess it's time to show you what he purchased. I was quite surprised myself, but pleased at the same time. Clock 43. Now we'll render this thing safe. We'll take the mag out. Nothing in the chamber. But that's what he decided he wanted. Was a Glock 43. There it is. All black. Um, I don't know. I'm not going to be able to tell you a whole lot about them. I, mean, I can. I can tell you all I want to about them. But there's a hundred videos out there just on the Glock 43 itself. But this is what Chase decided he wanted. Uh, he wanted 9mm. He knew that right off the bat. But he wasn't sure which particular pistol he wanted. And I quite frankly, I've carried it today. He's got my Smith. Um, so he's got a carry gun today. But he has shot my Smith & Wesson. And so he knows how it, how it acts, how it feels, how it does. Um, I have shot a 43 a while back. I think there's actually a video on YouTube here where we shot one. Um, so if you're not familiar uh, with the Glock 43, it's a single stack, six round, nine millimeter. He's got the hydro shocks in it. I think that's which one those are. I think. I'm not 100% sure. He does have the pinky extension on this particular mag. Uh, then he's got his flat uh, flat mag that just fits flush in here. He does have it in his, his backup somewhere. He didn't tell me where. And um, the downsides only come with two magazines per pistol. I've already got him a couple coming. Uh, should have many day. Um, I go with all the statistics. I mean uh full loaded the thing is 20.64 ounces uh barrel length i am cheating is 3.41 inches but anyway so for a little comparisons this is a glock 19 or a glock 43 i carry a 19. so let's look at the difference in the heights and everything it's pretty similar to my um mp shield but I mean, this thing is dwarfed by the 19 um, as far as pistols go, if you can see that in every way, shape, fashion, and form. Now the other, other Glock, only other Glock we have right now is a 17. So you compare a 17 to that 43 and I mean, that's a granddaddy right there. <laughs> so anyway. I'm kind of pleased with what he went with on the Glock 43. 
these have been pretty dead blame reliable they have not had any of the issues they did with the 380s um, I didn't think it would sit there um, the 43 seems to have had a pretty good start from the get-go and seems to be rolling pretty good now I'm gonna tell you I've taken it apart taken the taken the uh, slide off and looked at it because I I've stripped every one of these guns completely down um, many times so I know how to take them apart I know how to take this thing apart it's pretty simple and that's one of the things I like about Glock it's a simple gun inside not a whole lot of complexity to it so it just works they found something that works and they made it work and why change it you know a lot of people say oh Glock's behind the times they you know they haven't done anything different to their guns you know outside of making a smaller skinnier version well there's a reason for that it works don't mess with something that works um, but you can see the how thin it is compared to the Glock 17 or the 19. The 19 is the same thickness. Um, I think it's a little thinner than my shield. I've been carrying it all day in a. He's got a holster on the way for it. I let him borrow one of my other holsters that holds it pretty darn good. But. Um, yeah it's it's a dream to carry the heaviest part is being the slide but i think that's going to help on recoil too as much as anything is that slide um uh, weight and everything but um i haven't noticed anything different on trigger and everything i mean there's all kinds and that's something else we've already been looking at is all of the options for these things that you can change up your back plate here your uh, extended uh, slide release you take down your pins inside your thumb I mean you can replace everything and change everything out um, but yeah not in sights night sights they using the same old Glock you know screw type at the top and drift out at the bottom so you've got many options of things to do with it and I don't know if that was a major contributing factor for him that you know he wanted to be able to customize it um, which may have been the case I can't get that plate out right now so there um, that may have been the case because he knows how much I've done to mine I mean I've got that there of course I got a flashlight on it and well no that's just standard mag I do have extended mag release on this one I do yeah this is an extended um, slide release uh, the 17 has just got a different um, back plate and it does have true glow sights so you can get a good sight picture with those I tell them if it was me I'd go with the XS big dot sights like I have on my MMP shield um, just gives you a little bit better sight picture on it uh, as far as the thickness goes with that mag in, I'm not gonna put that mag back in because it's loaded. With that mag in, in it, with the extension, it's perfect. Uh, it's a good grip. I mean, it's even a good grip for my hands. Um, yeah, I have no complaints on it. I mean, it's it seems to be gonna be a rock solid pistol, in my opinion. Um, trigger point seems like it's no different than any of the other locks I've got um, so yeah that's about it now the kit he bought he got the gun two mags and it came with a laser uh, he doesn't want the laser on there right now which okay cool uh, does kind of help you know targeting but he says he don't want it don't need it right now so right now he's just gonna leave it off but he's got it in case he decides he wants it um, so anyway that's pretty much it I'm like I said I wasn't going to go into a real big detail of the gun itself but that's what Chase chose it was a Glock 43 and I think he made a good choice I think it's going to be a solid gun for him it'll be dependable reliable and um, you know as long as he gets a lot of practice behind it he'll be in good shape and I have no doubt he will get good practice behind it and it says we can find more ammo <laughs> 
I've got plenty of nine millimeters, so he actually he can go to range a couple times. It won't hurt me. But anyway, that's enough. That was his choice. I think it was a good choice. Um, it's very concealable. I, like I said, I've carried it all day. Hadn't bothered me or anything, so I think he made a good choice. All right, guys, that's it for this one. Make sure you like, subscribe, subscribe, and share. And thank you for everything you do. Be prepared.